Here at Florida State University, we are really committed to being a world-leading powerhouse in research in areas that build on the strong foundation of the faculty who are already here. We believe by investing in quantum science and engineering, we can become world-leading, but really a leader, especially here in the southeastern part of the United States, um, to take technology forward in ways that we, we currently can't do that. The FSU Quantum Initiative uh, includes five general themes, uh, qubit design and measurement, uh, quantum and topological materials. Uh, we have quantum enabling periphery and hardware. And then we have two more theoretical uh, thrusts, that's quantum theory and quantum applications. The mission is to develop a program, a comprehensive program. So we have uh, you know, researchers here to conduct device research, try to develop you know, quantum sensors, quantum detectors, and qubit systems. On the other hand, we also wanted to recruit a faculty member, have a researcher here, to conduct you know, theoretical research, trying to develop models, uh, algorithms, to support you know, quantum computing systems. With conventional computers, you just have bit zero and one, and that's it. There's only two things you can do. With quantum computers, you can turn that into a large number of solution states. But then you can do this crazy thing that Einstein said, this spooky action at a distance, this entanglement. So when you add that into the mix, then it opens up all sorts of interesting things. It's going to open up solutions I would have never thought of. The National High Magnetic Field Laboratory is sponsored by the National Science Foundation Division of Materials Research. And as a result, I use, many of our users come here to perform research on quantum materials. So I think this quantum initiative is just going to strengthen our world-leading reputation in this area of research. Within the nearest two, three years, we plan to hire eight new faculty members uh, across colleges of arts and sciences and engineering and uh, across departments. Uh, and they'll be in both quantum science uh, theory and uh, experiments. At Florida State University, we have a lot of, of talent and facilities that are unique to just us. We have this National High Magnetics Field Laboratory. It has spun off other research centers and institutes like the Center for Advanced Power Systems and the High Performance Materials Institute. We're building um, on those strengths through the investment into an interdisciplinary research and commercialization building that will be an interdisciplinary building focused on problem sets. This will house our quantum science and engineering initiative and we believe by putting people with similar interests together to work on problem sets rather than by department or college we can have more impact and we can and we can partner with industry and other partners to really help to take that technology um, to the to the market faster. One of the cool things at FSU is you have groups doing fundamental work in chemistry and physics and then on the other side, you have the Mag Lab. They're doing all sorts of cool things with magnets that requires cryogenics, things down at cold temperature, which you often need for many of these quantum computers. Next door is Applied Superconductivity Center, which feeds into some of these magnets. They do more of the applied work, where it's really getting down to building these systems, designing the materials. We've had groups here who have actually come to study things like phosphorus, phosphorus dopants in silicon. Uh, that's an idea that goes back to some of the first proposals for spin-based quantum computing. And, and the kind of research that they've done with our instrumentation is to shift quantum information stored in electron spins and transfer it to, to the phosphorus nuclear spins. And they can actually store it there for hundreds of seconds uh, and then read it out electrically sub subsequently. Uh, we plan to uh, develop quantum certificates, so graduate uh, certificates in quantum science and in quantum engineering. We needed to have um, very well designed uh, focused educational program uh, to you know teach students how to operate uh, you know uh, cryogenic systems refrigerators how to design them more efficiently and we also need to train students about you know fabrication analysis uh, characterization of uh, superconducting materials it's really important that we get the, the most sought after talent right now to help our, our quantum initiative and our quantum effort really take off. We would like to see that we have many more students pursuing 
this area because it's so important and one thing that we substantially lack and not only at FSU I think across the nation is qualified workforce so in the next five years we're looking to add even more faculty more than this initial eight hires uh, we hope that this new faculty will bring more graduate students and postdoctoral scholars to FSU uh, to really feed this initiative and create you know, brand new ideas new collaborations uh, and we hope to establish a dedicated educational program not only for graduate students but also for undergraduate students and for high school students. The next generation of scientists are the, are the, are the people who are going to have the, the next great ideas and, and push this area of quantum science forward in the future. And so we want to be here now hiring the, absolutely the best people we can from students all the way up through postdocs and the most sought after faculty. Um, then we'll nurture them while they're here and then hopefully that will ensure that, that people from all over the world continue to visit the Mag Lab for generations to come. I would encourage students who are interested in quantum science and engineering to come and take a look. Spend some time here, visit with us, learn more about, about what we're doing here at FSU and what the opportunities are in this new and emerging field. I think there's a lot of opportunities. This is a new area and people don't even know what the opportunities really are. And I believe by bringing some younger, um, new talent into the space, they're going to also bring their own ideas and their own perspectives. And their imagination is the only thing that will limit where this can go.